hey, what's going on? So if you have an app or you have a website and you're looking to add Google sign-in to your website, whether it's Google, whether it's Twitter sign-in, Apple sign-in, whatever the case may be, there's a lot of different ways to sign in on an app. But I'm going to show you how you can actually add that to your app in a very simple way. So let me share my screen. All right, so for this example, we're using PHP Laravel, but you can do the same thing with Node.js or any other tech that you decide to use. So for this example, we're using Laravel Socialite. How it works is you download this package. If you look at the documentation, you're able to download this package. What you do is you have to go to the specific provider that you're trying to use. So like for this example here, you see we're using Google. So this would be for Google sign-in, if you're trying to do this for a Twitter sign-in, for Apple sign-in, so somebody can sign in with their Apple ID, the same thing. You would go and you would get an uh, API key. This key is going to be a this key is going to allow you to be able to connect with their platform to add it to your service. So that's what an API key is used for. You can connect to a third-party platform on your service. So if you come back here, you get this key. So you see it says client ID, client secret. There's usually two keys that you have to get an ID and the secret key, but you would add this to your app. And so how it works is, I have an example here of an app that I've done this on the past. How it works is once you have these two IDs set up, these two keys, when somebody clicks a link, so if you go, let me see if I can pull up uh, an example here of how you can sign up. Um, let's see here. Uh, here. So let me see here. Let me log out of this. Log out. Okay, so you see how it says sign in with Google. With this, what, what would happen is when you click sign in with Google, then it takes you to a page where it shows all your different email addresses. And then you can sign in and it continues to the app. So that's all that will happen here. There is a redirect that will happen as soon as you click that link, which will redirect you to your app. Once it's authenticated that, okay, this user is a Gmail user, this user has uh, Twitter account, Apple account, whatever. Once it confirms that, it'll redirect you back to your application. So if you see here, redirects you back, checks to make sure that, okay, you're not already a current user, because if you're already current, then it will just log you in. And then if you're not a current user, then it'll actually come in and add your information. So it's very simple to do, very easy to do. If you follow this documentation here, a lot of other different things that you can do here, but you notice it's very simple. One, Install the package. Two, get your API keys, add them to your application. Three, add this redirect that once the user clicks on sign in with whatever uh, provider, Google, Twitter, Apple, redirects in there, checks to make sure that this person is or this person has an account, bring them back to your app, do another two checks, check to make sure that they don't already have an account. If they do have an account on your website, simply log them in. If they don't have an account, save that information so once again very easy to add if you have any questions about how to add this to your application you'd like to add google sign in because the reason why this is useful is if you're trying to just do the normal username and password that can get very uh, confusing because how many times do people forget their passwords especially these eight digit passwords more than likely you'll forget it so the google one is very simple it's easy well not google only but google twitter apple whichever one, they're all very simple. You just click, you're already signed in, so you can easily log in. So if you are looking to implement this, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me, send me an email. I'll be glad to help you out. If you're stuck somewhere or something's not working, you'd like me to help you implement this, whatever the case may be, please feel free to reach out. I'll be more than glad to help you out. But once again, I hope this video was... Uh, a little bit helpful to see, show you how you can actually add this to your app. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach.